Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's see if we can get uh, that music down just a little bit. I think that's better. Welcome to the stream, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, today we've been sent a brand new release game to Duracon. Released today by the amazing people at Radlicker Games. Radlickergames.com. Uh, I've got this sent over the Anzac Day break for us Australians, which was yesterday. Uh, it just got released yesterday, which was Tuesday. Um, what date was it? Tuesday. Let me check. 25th of um, 25th of April 2023. So it's just been released. It's a visual novel game. Let me tell you what the game is about. Before we even start that, guys, if you're watching back on my YouTube channel as a video replay, uh, like and subscribe. I really do appreciate it. And if you're watching this back up, um, if, if, if you come visit me over, sorry, I've got mixed my words. If you come visit me over at Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube, that's Marvelay, M A R B R O L A Y. So if you like what you see, guys, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you're watching me live, follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter, guys, or come visit my cooking page, which is Cooking with Marvelay, all one word. I really do appreciate you all. So, Duracon. Uh, let's just get out of this real quick. I don't want to load because I've got nothing. Okay. Let me tell you what this game is about. Once again, it's brought to me today by the amazing people at Rattleicker Games, the stream of all my fabulous viewers. There. Thank you for sending me the code. I love you all. Um, a visual novel about teamwork, love, friendship, and achieving common goals. Something new is hitting the mobile markets and taking the world by storm. An argumental reality game called Dar Daragon Collection Daco also plays to collect the battle with the hundreds of dragons. Juice. After spending a few weeks saving up for his new phone, can finally participate in the craze as she finds her collection of virtual dragons and circles of new friends grows with it. How will her summer vacation unfold? Uh, the game features 31,000 words, three different girls to befriend or wow, romance, and 13 different endings. Uh, it's a one-player game. Uh, the publisher is Radlicka Games. Radlickergames.com. Check them out. Uh, let me check, 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 check. It's a visual novel game. Uh, it's available for the Nintendo Switch, the PS4, the PS5, the Xbox One, Xbox Series S and X. Uh, today, guys, I'm playing on the Xbox Series X using a Designer Lab Pride controller, the Xbox Series X, and an Xbox Series X wireless headset. Uh, welcome back, Goddess. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, <clears throat> Jericho says, how many sponsors uh, oh, do you have now? Uh, Jericho, eight. Eight different sponsors that I'm streaming for. Um... <laughs> God, it says, uh, long time no see. Uh, if you guys are just joining me right now, I just finished doing another stream for another sponsor about five minutes ago, and I'm back at it now for another one. So, a bit of an inside joke. If you guys were there before, then yeah, you would understand what it meant. <laughs> Good one, Goddess. Good one, girl. Okay, let's get into it, eh? Duracon, my sweet summer adventure. Let's get into it. Let's see what we've got. Okay, so we've got a gallery, which will be nothing at the moment because we haven't played the game. Okay, I just want to play now. Okay, so I think I'm doing it wrong. I've got to figure out which is... Okay, so when it's unhighlighted, like it's dulled out, it means it's on it. Ah, I was done downloading. I watched the progress bar on my new phone anticipate until it reaches 100% and begins installing the game. Uh, builders, welcome back to the stream. I just whip it out for Brooke and get it over with. Thanks for watching. Go, man, mobile. <laughs> Thanks for popping past, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All the sales person promised me it would work on this model. I still hold my breath in anticipation. New mobile phone. It's a reminder, guys. Get yourself a new mobile phone. Uh, when the answer says, hello, mobile phone. <laughs> Once the shortcut is created, I tap on the application icon repeatedly until the loading screen pops up and I squeal. It works. It really works. I'm glad. Even if I don't really want to start off my summer vacation, Summer mowing lawns for cash. Dragon Connection, aka Draco, the latest acknowledgement reality game, was officially released a few weeks ago, but it's my despair my cuddly old phone couldn't handle its awesomeness. It took a while, but I managed to scrape together enough money through chores and summer jobs to snag a shiny new phone. Until then, I could only watch Green with Envy, why 
while other players walked around with their devices out. They're going to say something else then. Now I can join the fun. I hope I'm not too far behind. My best friend already stopped playing it. I wanted us to play together. Ah, input username. Ah, uh, ah, uh, um. My mind blanks out and I quickly tap on Dookie Dookie Juice, an accurate description of how I'm feeling right now. A tutorial? I just want to play already. After skipping and jumping through it, through the settings, the world map, essentially your own world, opens up and a hum is delight. Place a few free in front of me, virtually on the screen of course, is a dragon egg. Might be a second guys. Just getting out of this stuff for a second. Oh, I don't know what I've done. <laughs> God, I okay. Sorry, I was just adjusting some settings. Place a few feet in front of me, virtually on the screen, of course, is a dragon's egg. I watch a little egg hop until it cracks wriggly down the shell. Ah, light shines out. A cute white dragon appears before me. My starting dragon. Oh, how adorable. I should name him Tiny. After christening my partner, I can finally start playing. I scan the map and notice quite... Who's phoning me? Okay, I'm going to answer it while I'm on stream, guys. Hello? Hi, hi, hi Jessica. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine, Jessica. Well, that's great. I'm calling you from Choice in regards to your electricity services about your power supply. Well, that's a reminder. You've got to know knowledge. We've got to get the five mentors out into the electricity power to power up the grid. That's a reminder. Know your role, eat plum juice, caviar, and potassium or nuts. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, what do you do when you get these bloody telemarketers phone you? You put them on Twitch stream and you abuse them in a good way. Not a nasty way. She needed to get some more mentors in her life, guys. <laughs> oh, man, I get that so many times a day. It was a reminder. It was a reminder that she needed to get a mentor to get a better job rather than ring people up and annoy the crap out of them. Ah, okay. Oh, there are two different spots in the ice cream parlor. I can only see why I've gotten a bruisier than lately. I'll check it out. <laughs> Jessica, come on, girl. If Jessica is watching me right now, I'm sorry, Jessica, but I, I guarantee you're not watching. Know your role, Jessica. Shut your mouth, girl. I step aside. Just got to turn the volume up a bit. I step aside and let a couple of holding ice cream pass by before I enter the bright pink parlor, the latest scoop. It's no normally a cheerful and welcoming pl looking place, although the person behind the counter doesn't match the ambience. I try my best to make up it for it though. Good afternoon. Welcome. What do you want? Oh, it's you, Julius. I think it's Julius. Julius. His eyes now when he sees my phone out. Oh, you got, a, you got one of them now them a lot here are people who come here without paying because they can collect dragons or whatever whatever like this one glenn grabs a broom and firmly marches onto wire the window he taps in the handle starting a girl with a standing by the entrance she jumps back and scampers out of sight clutching her phone for dear life it's got a really upbeat soundtrack in the background guys very bright and vivid i like it Oh yeah, I just downloaded the game. I haven't visited any of the spots before, so I wanted to see how it worked. I'll allow you this, this once, since you're a regular customer. I thank you. He sighs and retreats behind the counter, while I focus on my phone. My avatar's rain activates two icons nearby, causing them to flash and rotate. One looks like an eagle's nest, while the other is a cave tinted with a red dragon poking out of its entrance. What are these? It looks like I can tap both. How convenient. I should have checked the menu. Oops, how do I access it again? Giving up, I tap the nest icon instead, causing it to zoom in. I see some eggs and realize what it means. Oh, this is how I collect items. I start swiping across the screen, but nothing happens. Ah, uh, how am I supposed to get them? 
the door. <laughs> I'm thinking about that, Jessica. She was trying to say something, but I just kept on talking about plum juice, caviar, and potassium nuts, mentorship, mentoring, mentors, reminder, Hollywood Hills, Bentley, Maserati, Lamborghini. Sorry, guys, just going. I should have gone on a bit more to her. Ah, uh, God, she just missed out on what I just did. Ah, uh, it's hilarious. Guys, you're going to have to watch the uh, YouTube clip back. I just got a phone call from a tele- telemarketer called Jessica. So I put her on stream. <laughs> ah, it's funny. It's funny. So if you want to listen to it and you just missed it, guys, I do apologize because I just took it away from the game. But I get these telemarketers all the time. So I thought, that's it. I'm going to put her on stream. <laughs> I feel just, the great Dane loved it. The door joins, uh, the door, sorry, the shop doors chimes, but I was too busy trying to figure out this look. That's it until I hear someone shout, Hey, are you Ginger Angel? Huh? I look up and see a troll girl staring down at me, pointing an accusing finger at me. The, the goggles on her head make her stand out. You heard me, are you Ginger Angel? This territory is mine. What are you talking about? And do I look like a ginger to you? I'm new to this whole Draco thing. I don't know anything about it. Territories, honestly. Uh, Goddess says, oh man, keen to see it. Well, you're going to have to see it. Well, you have to get, actually, you're going to have to hear it. <laughs> After I tap, I actually show my phone, which is now displays my Draco profile, including my username and my starting date. She leans in, squinting dubiously. Because your eyes wide in surprise and embarrassment. Do people really take this game that seriously? Dookie Dookie Juice, are you staying playing today? Like barely 10 minutes ago. I don't even know how to grab items yet. You didn't even read the manual? No, I was excited to play, then I jumped right in. Explain your dorky username. You have to drag your eggs towards yourself, swipe downwards. Oh, I see. With the new eggs in my possession, I look up at her, grinning. I'm do I can't pronounce the name. Julis. If you haven't a guest by the username, that's thanks for helping me. She's taken back by my gratitude and coughs awkwardly. <laughs> the sound mixes another chime from a parlor entrance. Of course, welcome to the Draco world, newbie. I'm Bryn. So this is gonna be the orange haired girl that we're getting accused of. Do you come here often? Yep, most of these local territories are mine, actually. Chest puffed up, she proudly shows me her phone and see a bunch of red colored spots. Courteously tap the one closer to your location and see her avatar. Destin Bryn and partner Dragon stand viciously like the other player before me. However, there is one that keeps wrestling away from me and I want to find out who it is. Maybe it's not her. The ginger angel you mentioned before, right? Exactly. I will track this person down and prove who is the strongest trainer here. Ah, oh, stubborn plague. And then again, the person must be an extremely tough opponent to beat my dragons. I can't t I let my guard down. Ah, uh, what does it mean to your territory is covered with a cloud of dust and frightening sound effects? Huh? Who is attacking me? We look around and see the girl frankly yet deadly tapping on her phone as she awaits her ice cream order. Sensing our presence, she glances up curiously, but only after she's finished. Yes, are you in line? Oh, no, we're looking for someone. Bryn stares at her own phone again and furiously points at her. It's you! You're a ginger angel! Why? Indeed I am. Told ya. And you are? She looks at me. Ah, uh, probably because we talked first. Do this. I started playing Draco today. Bryn, I don't get I don't forget it because you're rivals now. I challenge you to one on one. The girl's uh, elegant poise turns sharp as she narrows her eyes disdrainingly. Glossy lids pulled in a smirk on her face, proclaimed rival. Pottery! I accept your challenge. Usually I decline since I'm a very busy person, but I doubt it'll take long. Grr, don't underestimate me. The two start tapping and swapping away at their phones, and I can only watch baffled. Glenn rolls his eyes and sets up a cup of ice cream in front of the counter. One wild Arbery cream ponce ice cream. Please take it before it melts. Wait, how do you get this dragon? It's so rare. Why, thank you. I caught it while I'm vacationing in France. 
bar. Within a few cries from Bryn, the battle is over in less than a minute. The vic uh, victor apparent from the expressions, Horifi chitters politely behind the hand before turning around confidently. Thanks for the challenge. Bree stares at the phone, bewildered, while the girl can take her ice cream cream. Her ice cream, sorry. He takes it Brentley spoonfully and starts eating as she walks out of the parlor, leaving Bryn muttering to herself in disbelief. How? Her team is so powerful, and I had eliminate advantage over her. I have to train extra hard for the tournament. Tournament? Yeah, there's going to be a, a big update in the next few weeks, allowing players to participate in the tournament models. Um, tournament mode, sorry. And there will be only honest to be a very city. They have a date and time, but I can't sign up yet. I have to make sure I can fight against all the elements. Elements? Bryn groans impatiently, forgetting that she's dealing with a newbie. When you reach level 5, you can pick out one of four elements. Earth, fire, wind, water. I am Captain Planet. Remember that TV show, guys? Captain Planet? When you just go, earth, fire, wind, water, heart. Captain Planet. Remember that? He had, like, green hair and a blue body. Yeah. I hated the colours. It was terrible. <laughs> used to watch the TV show, though. Fire beats wind. Why wind, or why wind beats earth. Earth beats water. You get the picture. Oh, how exciting. Wait, does that mean I can use dragons outside the elements I picked? You can, but obviously you get a huge boost if your dragon is under your element. I'm fire since it's packed a punch. She checks her phone and grumbles. Ah, oh, the dragon she's guarding the territory is way too strong. I have to train some more. Later, newbie. Remember, you can change your username exactly once. I think it's cute. Bryn briskly exits the parlor, full of gusto, leaving myself and Glenn. He sighs and begins wiping the counter gratefully for the peace and quiet again. I see you later. Come back only if you plan to buy something. Okay. Outside, I check my phone. Oh, there's some dragons nearby. This is like Pokemon Go, isn't it? When you walk around, you used to find Pokemon. Remember when it first came out? You used to get in your car and just drive around the place? You should be pretty dangerous because you'd be driving the car, looking at your damn phone. I only have a few nests in my beginning inventory set, but maybe I could try capture some. It's then I notice a figure lurking around the corner. That girl is back. She edges a little closer to the window, but far enough to avoid Glenn's line of vision. Satisfied, she pulls out her phone and starts tapping away, leaning against the building. Playing Draco 2? Eep! She fumbles over her phone and manages to catch it before it falls onto the pavement. I'm sorry, I was so excited to see a fellow player. I'm loose. Rain. Have you been playing the game for a while? She pushes on her glasses and masks her nervousness. Yes, yeah, yes, I've been playing since it was released. Ah, uh, Pokemon. Ah, uh, sorry. God, it says days of Pokemon Go. It's still around, isn't it? I'm pretty sure you still be able to play it. Wow, I started playing today. I'm bit new to this. Uh, I only have one dragon. I pull up my phone and show her my single partner, Raven smiles. Her eyes lighten up in the recognition. Tiny, huh? He's adorable bit Miss Dragon. I do sometimes. Oh, really? She still plays Pokemon Go. I played it like when it first came out and then I quit. A Miss Dragon? They can turn into mist and hide, in the hide from the enemies. They're not strong fighters, so they prefer sneaking up on their prey or hiding behind enemies. Due to their nature, they usually live in cold places like... Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to ramble. It's alright, you're so knowledgeable. It's amazing. Really? She fridges, unsure how to take the compliment. I have a feeling she doesn't get them often. See, I've been playing the original Easter Star series since I released their first game back in... Uh, you're new. You're a new player. Any... Yes, any tips? Uh, Goddess says, can't walk for long, so I don't play much here yeah, sometimes. Well, if you want to go, if you want to gain experience quickly, I recommend visiting the plaza downtown. There's a lot of visit points there. These nests, right? Right, nests are where you collect items for your dragon eggs. While there are caves and territories since they resemble a dragon's lair, nests refresh every 15 minutes, so it's great if you're shopping somewhere to eat or study. The plaza has a bunch. The game users allow... The game used to allow users to catch dragons in vehicles uh, in a vehicle going up to 80 kilometers per hour, but the newest update, you can't catch dragons unless you're going under 30. You encourage walking and biking. 
See, that's what I was talking about with Pokemon Go. You used to better get in your car and drive. I don't know if they stopped it. Maybe they did. She appears a little miffled and the latest note, but I mean, uh, encouragingly. Oh, when you reach level five, don't forget to pick your element so you can unlock battling. If you're into that sort of thing, I pick water to match my starting dragon. Thanks for the info. N no problem. She looks shyly at her phone, like she's a shield between her and me. I ease off slowly. I hope to see you around. Me, me. Yeah, maybe we can. Eee. <laughs> what happened then? A looming shadow startles us both jump. Glenn is staring daggers at us. Daggers at us. Me inches from the window, he yells something, but it's muffled behind the glass. Obviously, obviously he's upset. We're participating camping by the outdoor tables. That's my cue. Later, Ryan. She quickly retreats, but still managed to wave back at me. Bye. I think I head home now. After I walk around the block. Wow, what a day. I got to meet a bunch of new people and thanks to this game. I grin and check my phone. I walked enough that my own eggs are close to hatching. I was able to collect a few more items for tomorrow. It looks like I'm participating in battle for the territory until my level 5 and declare an element. I wonder how long it would take to get there. Let's get this time sorted. Durakon, my sweet summer adventure. Once again, this game is brought to me today by the amazing people at Rattleliga Games. Rattleligagames.com, check them out, guys. It's just been released yesterday, 25th of April, 2023. Where should I go today? Maybe I'll meet the trainers again, since I definitely won't be dragon hunting with my friend today. Last night, I sent screenshots to my latest dragon captures to him, but all I got back was who followed by who. I weird feeling he wasn't wowed by my least. I offered an invitation to hang out today. He read it, but hasn't replied. Oh well, I have fun without him. I hope this doesn't spend my whole summer moping around. Where should I go? Do I have a choice? I do. Okay, the streets. Latest scoop. Uh, that's all I can go. Let's go back to the latest scoop. See if Glenn can get pissed off. Uh, Goddess says, I'm changing you to the TV. Um, I finally hit the big times, guys. I'm on the big TV. <laughs> I think I treat myself to some ice cream. The way I can sit down and collect items too. I open the door, preparing to give Glenn a cheer for hello. Go! Ah! Bryn shoots straight from the table, nearly knocking the chair back in the process. Across from her sits Harine, holding her phone and laughing politely behind her free hand. Oh, today! Please refrain from screaming in the pilot, disturbing my thoughts of despair. I watched Bryn grow and stare at her phone in shock before startling, slumbling back down, utterly defeated. She bruises her head into her hands while leaning over the table. Glenn isn't the only one in despair. Hori sits back, not phased in the least, and resumes eating pink ice cream from the cup. Glenn watches me judgmental, as daring me to sit down without ice cream. I walk up, I up and order my favourite mint chocolate chip while I wait for my order. Brun recovers from her funk and starts interrogating Horeen. I don't get it. Where are you getting these dragons? Secret farming location? My dad travels a lot in business and I get accompanied him around the world. Lucky, I never see him left the country. Bored now? Since I got so nice, I dropped some bait. Maybe you can catch something stronger than this time. She sticks out her tongue. Curiously, I take my phone to see what she means. Unsurprisingly, the terror is still claimed by Ginger Angel. The nest points next to the parlor lights up with a floating meat icon hovering above it and dragons start appearing everywhere. Oh wow, now I can catch even more. I pay my ice cream and Glenn hands me my cone. Determined to fade back into the background after, I hear someone slam their hands on the table. Ah, oh, you got a bunch of rare items too. How are you doing it? I love to maintain multiple territories just to escape to wherever enough scale for the items these. It takes days. Hori uh, pauses and delicately slides a spoon out of her dently mouth and looks at Bryn, madly of effect. I purchased them, of course. There's nothing honourable about buying your way through everything. It's all about hard work and effort and watching to pay off. It's very satisfying. Hori scuffs and sits an empty cup down, pointing the spoon at Bryn. Why should I invest hours of my busy schedule to scrape the scales like other persons? 
I don't want to, I don't want to, and I shouldn't need to if that's an easy alternative. I guess spending a lot of money is easy as meth for some people. The freeway works for you though, since you obviously have much free time on your hands. Uh, bah! I'm right and you know it. Oh, I'm going to be dragged into this analog. I focus on eating my sweet ice cream, pretending to be preoccupied. Juice, you heard us right. I freeze, no, it's impossible for me to convince me a little. What's greater? What's sorry, what's better? Playing Dracul the proper way or buying everything? That's wording is only slightly based biased. I have a feeling they've been satisfied I pick a side. No offense sitting aloud. I complete swallowing my ice cream. The best way is uh, to actually play the game or to spend cash. Ooh, shivers. What should I do? One or two, guys. If you're watching me live right now, one is to actually play the game or two, to spend some cash. One or two. First in, first gets it. God, it says one, to actually play the game. The best way is to actually play the game. You get to walk around a lot. You also value your items more, and you have a statifies when you stratifies when you slice them is limited. It's like spending hours grinding in MMO. That is sweet, sweet level up. Brim pumps up his fist. Strike and heroic pose. That's exactly it. Although I have no idea what you mean by grinding in a MMO, but it sounds like satisfying hard work. Hurry, I exchange a surprised glance. Are you familiar with the video games? Not really. I sometimes play with my younger brother. I downloaded this one because it really looked cool. Filthy casual. Hey, I might not be familiar with video games generally, but I know everything about Drakul thanks to my hard work actually playing it, instead of throwing money and getting everything handed to you. Well, unlike you, I don't have the time to go in depth with Drakul, so you shouldn't judge how I play. I have classes, family, and actually social life. Plus, I'm supporting my, the developers by playing, by paying some to continue to update the game of precious gaming running. Hurry, phone vibrates. She swipes the screen to read it. Speaking of my busy life, she stands up and drops everything immediately into the trash. I have to go. I need to talk to my father about upcoming trip to Canada. Excuse me. The chime signals Hurry's departure and Bree crosses her arms, tilting her head in confusion. Canada? Why would anyone want to go there? I guess her constant travel isn't always a perk. She's even left before her bait was up, used up. We check the phones. There's still 20 minutes of uh, dragging, collecting, collect-a-thon. Are there even a group of players loitering outside the window, loitering, drawn to meet at the general monster, much to Glenn's dismay? I guess it uh, doesn't matter, since he can't just buy more. All right, I'm going to have... I'm going to... All right, I'm going to turn my, her mercy bait no chance to defeat her. She sits down at the table and eagerly starts tapping away at her phone. Since my own collection is pitiful, I might as well take this opportunity to... Yes, I got a bunch of new dragons and eggs. Where should I go next? Okay, so we can go to City Plaza. Wow, the plaza has sure changed after the release. Has it always been vibrant? I see so much hustle and bustle the weekends and holidays. I look around the nest and terror team points uh, clustering in such a, sh a tiny area, completely covered in a map. Moist in the nest have baited at it, increasing number of dragons appearing. It's an AR paradise. And ginger eggs are still remaining uh, supreme here too. I see a lot of people walked around holding their phones out as a guide. The more, hard the the more hardcore players using battery packs. I see a few older dom playing shaking their heads in groans of youngest huddling around their phones by the fountain or scattering patches of grass. The old woman, look at them, glued to their phones, not appreciating their surroundings. Kids can't even be far for a normal walk these days without new, fragile device hanging around their eyes or ears. Complain as they stay indoors, complain if they're outdoors, their generation just can't win. Whenever I want to dampen my fun. Where do I even start? I haven't caught the just dragon yet. I do my best to navigate without being careless. Luckily, I've already mastered the skill of texting while walking simultaneously. I weave through the crowd with ease. Someone walks to the a bookstore and I pause, recognizing the figure. Okay, guys, let's save the game.
And how do we get back? Okay, guys, time for Marble's mini indie game review. Uh, Guidus says, I usually use battery packs. Two if I plan a whole day walk. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't use a battery pack for my phone. If it goes flat, it goes flat. Okay, guys, Duracon brought to me today by the amazing people at Rattlelicker Games. It's an official novel about, um, about basically like a dragons, but like a Pokemon Go game on your phone. That's what it's basically about. So it's got a nice storyline. It's kind of like this generation for kids walking around with their phones and stuff, like having battles and stuff. So it's pretty good. Uh, visualization, I like how the drawings are in the background. The colors are very vibrant. It's very in your face, bright, colorful. Nice, nice visualizations. Love the look, phone and the settings. That's what um, Goddess says. The soundtrack in the background is pretty up there as well. I like the soundtrack. Uh, gameplay wise, I've played today in the Xbox Series X. Um, it's, a, it's a visual novel, so it's very, very basic. You basically press one button and you read away. Uh, if you're not familiar with visual novels, this probably be a great, good visual novel to start with. It's, it's pretty easy to read. Uh, it's got a pretty good storyline. It's not, it's, it's easy to read. Some visual novels can be a bit harder to read than others with the text and the, uh, the way the text is. If it's like a, a medieval visual novel, it's, the text is done in like that type of terms. But this is pretty, uh, this generation. So it's easy to read. Colors are vibrant. Text is nice and big and bright. Yeah. This game's available for the Nintendo Switch, the PS4, the PS5, the Xbox One, Xbox Series, S and X. Uh, Dorokin, the Sweet Summer Adventure, out of 10. I'm going to give this game a 7 out of 10. It's a goodie. Not the best, but it's out there. Just be relieved to, uh, on the 25th of April, 2023. Uh, God, I, said, I wish they showed the game they were playing. Yeah, it would be nice to see if it had like mini games in the game. But um, I don't think it does. So if it had mini games inside this visual novel, it would add to the score. But it's just a typical visual novel. Um, it's a good one. So if you're into visual novels, guys, I I'd recommend this one. Once again, 7 out of 10 on the Marvel A Mini Indie Game Review. Uh, if you're watching me live right now on my Twitch channel, please hit the heart icon and drop me a follow. But if you're watching this back on my YouTube channel, if you like games, guys, and you want to show some support, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel. It is free, F -E, and It takes one second, one click of your time to do so. Come visit me over on Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. That's Marvel A, M A R B R O L A Y. Also, guys, I've got an Instagram cooking page. Uh, if you want to see all the all the food that I'm cooking out at home, it's unedited. It's what you see is what you get. I cook it for the family. It's cooking with Marvel A, all one word. Come visit me. Drop me a follow. Appreciate you all. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone for pulling past the live stream today on Twitch. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, make sure you take care of the cells, your ones you love. Don't forget to feed your pets. And remember, guys, you're perfect just the way you are. Unless you want to change, then change. Just be you, do you, and you'll be fine. Uh, make sure you say hi to your dog for me. Say hi to your cat for me if you will. If you haven't got dogs or cats, just say hi to any of your pets for me. Uh, once again, this has been Rattling Games Presents Duracon, my sweet summer adventure on the Xbox Series X. Thank you for watching, and bye for now. Hi, guys.